Today on the channel we're going to take a look at my cassette collection from when I was in my teens into my early 20s. Today on the channel, we take a trip way back in time and take a look at all of my cassettes from many years ago. Today I was thinking about all the music that I purchased in my late teens and my early, early 20s and how much of it was on cassette. I bought a lot of CDs, but in the late 80s, very early 90s, you could buy used cassettes at, at local shops. Super cheap, like for a buck fifty, two dollars a piece. Some of these cassettes I purchased new, most of them were probably second hand, but I was going through my storage bins today and I, I noticed how many of these cassette cases I still had. I've kept everything. Everything was in a, in a nice storage, a couple storage trunks. So I decided to take these out. I haven't looked through these cassette cases for years and years and years. So I'm gonna take a look at, with you, uh, the cassettes of my youth. And this, this will show me exactly, you know, what, what shaped me as a musician? What did I waste my money on? Or uh, I don't think I wasted my money on anything. It was all learning experience. But what did I, what did I spend this money on? And, and gosh, I listened to so much stuff growing up as a, musician and as a guitarist and I was such a, a music fan so let's let's dig in a lot of this is going to be metal some of its classic rock pop you name it so I'll try to make this kind of quick so it's not over just overdone so there's a lot here there's a lot of material but uh, taking a look at this particular case let's see what we have here kind of a mixture of metal classic rock invasion of your privacy <laughs> this case is so worn out We've got the first Aerosmith album Toys in the Attic Theater of Pain by Motley Crue Lita Ford Stiletto Boston, Don't Look Back, Robert Plant, Manic Nirvana. <laughs> Best of the Beach Boys, Volume 2. <laughs> In between the metal and the classic rock. Here's a, a local radio station from Ithaca, WVBR, Ithaca, New York. I grew up in Ithaca. Used to record the radio station. Got Lynch Mob. Wicked Sensation. There's some weird ones in here. Madonna. Soundtrack from Dick Tracy. That's a strange one right there. There's a bootleg, uh, Led Zeppelin II, Houses of the Holy. I'd, we used to have double cassette decks and buy blanks and make copies of our friends' albums. There's Tesla. Psychotic Supper. Man, I played the heck out of this thing. Psychotic Supper, Jethro Tull, Aqualung, Yes, 90215, Zeppelin III, First Led Zeppelin, Vinnie Vincent Invasion. Some of the stuff I was curious about and I didn't really play a lot of. Ry Cooter, here's the soundtrack from Crossroads. There's something you don't see every day. I was so disappointed because none of the Steve Vai stuff was on there. But it opened me up to Ry Cooter, so I learned a lot from that. Blessing in Disguise. Brian May Starfleet Project. I got that used at the Great Escape in Nashville for $349 back in the early 90s. I was had Van Halen on it. Beach Boys, Endless Summer, <laughs> Spin Doctors. Home Belly Groove Live. I don't even think I've ever listened to that. Basic Instinct soundtrack. I was a big Sharon Stone fan, like all of us back then. Fabulous Baker Boys, that was a great jazz soundtrack. 
Jethro Tull, Songs from the Wood. I love that album to this day. Double Trouble, SRV, Couldn't Stand the Weather. Cars, Greatest Hits, Skinner, Second Helping. Of course, there's this pouch up here. Tons of stuff in here. Let's see what we got in the pouch. Almond Brothers, Best Of, Clapton, Time Pieces. <laughs> Here's a bootleg. Kiss, Kicks, Blow My Fuse in Bon Jovi, New Jersey. Emerson, Lake, and Powell. And then, that wasn't enough. There's We had these storage areas. You could really cram a lot in here. Oh, here's my bootleg of Van Halen that I saw him in Syracuse. That's part two. I gotta see. We're yielding some good stuff here. I'm gonna put that aside. I still have a cassette deck. I'm gonna check that out. That is some classical music from when I was in music school. There's some unlabeled stuff. Elton John, too low for zero. I don't, I don't know about that. There's a Basic Instinct movie stub or something. Huh. Cinderella Night Songs. That's about it. Classical music from music school when I was getting my degree. Foreigner. Say you will. Say you won't. Single. They sold singles on cassettes. Long before iTunes. Alright, let's see what else we got here. Trying to rush through this. Heck, I don't know if anybody finds this interesting, but I like looking through all this stuff. Talk about dust and dirt. These things were in storage. All right, looks like we got a lot of junk in here, bootlegs. That says Lori Wells. That must have been a songwriter in Nashville that gave me her demo. Here's some weird stuff. Paul McCartney, give my regards to Broad Street. I don't know why these aren't in their cases. I was usually really careful about that. More classical stuff. Tears for Fear, songs from the big chair. I don't know why all these are out of their cases. Madonna Vogue, the single. <laughs> There's Chris Isaac, Wicked Game. I had the single for that. Did an episode on my YouTube channel for quick hitters on how to play that. There's Boston Live at Long Beach, Queens Reich, Operation Mindcrime. What's this? Pearl Jam Vitology. That's we're getting in the early '90s here. Pink Floyd, The Wall. That was a bootleg. <laughs> I drew it on there. <laughs> Soundtrack for Austin Powers, Spy Who Shagged Me. Weird. Motley Crue. I had that dubbed. Girls, Girls, Girls. Who's Greatest Hits? Helix, No Rest for the Wicked. There's a Paul McCartney mix. I made a lot of mixtapes, a lot of mixes. White Snake, Slip of the Tongue, without its case for some reason. All right. Cool. Let's see what else we got here. Here's a, this a plastic case. Like Star Wars figures should be in here or something. This thing's broken. Okay, so more of my weird eclectic taste. This must have been my Beatles case. Paul McCartney and Wings. Band on the Run. There's George Harrison, Cloud Nine. John Lennon, Plastic Ono Band. I've listened to all these cassettes and records 10,000 times each. Julian Lennon, Velot. That was a cool 50 cents used. And Magical Mystery Tour, Sgt. Pepper. Uh, the White Album, Abbey Road, lesser known Julian Lennon album, Mr. Jordan. There's John Lennon live in New York City. There's a mixtape there, Paul McCartney, Pipes of Peace. What do we have here? The Cure, Wish. Great album. That was Traveling Wilburys. I'd made a mix of Traveling Wilburys stuff. There's Beatles 6. Eric Johnson, live in Austin. Hmm. Paul McCartney, Press to Play. I like that album. Tug of War by Paul McCartney. 
one of my favorite Paul McCartney albums. There's some really, really good stuff on there. Flowers in the Dirt, Live at the Hollywood Bowl. Talk about a screaming crowd. This is gives me goosebumps. I listened to that on vinyl. I got the, the vinyl of that recently, and it's... Um, what a great show. I mean, the Beatles... Funny, when you listen back to those Beatles concerts, the Beatles only played like 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. Their concerts were fast, and then they were over. Fast and Furious. Man, this is a, like a briefcase from the 80s here. <laughs> okay, looks like we got a lot of metal in this one. So, let's see. Well, not all metal. Julian Lennon, Velot. There's Van Halen, 84. I don't know why... I don't know why I cut the thing out of this. I must have put their name on something. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Mother's Milk. Nine Inch Nails, Pretty Hate Machine. Fraley's Comet. God, I love Fraley. I use Fraley's Comet. That's the live album, Live Plus One. Van Halen One. The Smiths, Rank, Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell, Jeff Beck, Guitar Shop. I was kind of eclectic. I was all over the place. Sammy Hagar. New Shoes. <laughs> that song on there, I can't wait. Ozzy Osbourne, Ultimate Sin. Everybody had to have that, right? ACDC, Fly on the Wall. I don't know what that was. That was some kind of that was something for your AT and T telephone tunes for like your answering machine. Boy, there's a there's a mixtape for you. There's a mix of Beatles Magical Mystery Tour and Bob Marley Legend. Went through a Bob Marley phase in college. Had a roommate that loved. Bob Marley. There's Van Halen, Syracuse, uh, Carrier Dome, uh, Part 1. So I found both my my bootlegs. Fantastic. <laughs> Marty's Ultimate Heavy Metal Mix. I wonder what's on that. Todd Rundgren. Robert Johnson. I was listening to it all. Megadeth, So Far So Good, So What? The Adventures of Ford Fairlane. I guess I got that because it had a Queensryche out, some Queensryche on it, and some Motley. Alice Cooper Show, Bon Jovi, New Jersey, Helix, Long Way to Heaven, Kingdom Come. That was a good album, that Kingdom Come record. They sounded like Led Zeppelin, but Get It On was a great song, man. Tesla Mechanical, Re Mechan Mechanical Resonance, got a bootleg of that. Ozzy Osbourne, No Rest for the Wicked. Had that on cassette. When I discovered Zach, that album, Lord, I played it 10,000 times. Tesla, Five Man Acoustical Jam, Love Song is on that. Awesome. Rod Stewart. Is this camouflage? It's camouflage with infatuation on it. Box of Frogs. Jeff Beck played on this. You haven't ever heard of Box of Frogs. It's pretty cool stuff, man. I would recommend listening to Box of Frogs. Brian Adams, Cuts Like a Knife. What's this here? Guns N' Roses, Use Your Illusion 1. TNT, Tell No Tales. I had a bootleg of that, and that's all I ever had. I love TNT, Ronnie Latikro. There's some Van Halen, Mix of Styles. How about that? You couldn't do playlists. Back then, you had to, you had to get you a tape and a 90-minute tape, hopefully a high bias cassette, so it sounded nice and clear. And then you could make you a mixtape, give them to a girl, and dedicate some songs to her. Man, that was those were the great days. Or if you were lucky, they'd give you a mixtape. You two, Joshua Tree, Boston One, Milk and Honey, John Lennon, Yoko Ono. This. The John Lennon stuff on this, even though it's unfinished, it's excellent. Double Fantasy. Van Halen, Fair Warning. 
what's this? Oh, that's my, one of my bands from the 90s doing some uh, gigs. I got, man, I should listen to some of this stuff. Huh. Put that aside. Carol King. Carol King's awesome. Bruce Springsteen, Born in the USA, Heart, Little Queen. I was a big Alice Cooper guy, Greatest Hits. Uh, that's a mix of something. Simon and Garfunkel, Greatest Hits. Anybody ever remember Enigma? Enigma, Michael Cretu is the songwriter for Enigma. I, st I love Enigma, I still, still think they're cool. Pink Floyd, Momentary Lapse of Reason. It's a cool album. And Jethro Tull, Crest of a Knave. The famous album that beat Metallica for, what was it, a Grammy? Is that what it was? Crest of a Knave is a great album. It's not a metal album, but it's it's awesome. All right, I guess that this red case was probably some of my most listened to stuff. <laughs> Let's look at this. We got Cosmic Thing by B-52s. We got Led Zeppelin remasters, one and two. There's a bootleg, Van Halen, Stockholm, 1984. There's Van Halen, the US Festival. There's a picture of Eddie. Someone had a picture they made at the album cover. Billy Idol, Rebel Yell, Kiss Alive, The Offspring, Mr. Mister, Welcome to the Real World, Porn and Graffiti by Extreme. Uh, okay, what else is up here? Def Leppard, Pyromania. That's Steve Vai Flexible. That one's upside down. Janet Jackson, Control. <laughs> we go from Steve Vai to Janet Jackson. Surfing with the Alien, Flying a Blue Dream by Joe Satriani. There's a First Kiss album. First Kiss album, cover to cover, is killer. Don't know what that is. Wham, Make It Big. <laughs> uh, Bjork. Anybody ever heard of Bjork? That's her debut. U2 Live, Under a Blood Red Sky. Great album. Phil Collins, Serious Hits Live, White Lion, Pride. If you were a kid in the 80s, you had to have White Lion Pride. And John Lennon, the Imagine movie came out. That was a soundtrack. Prince and the Revolution. I mean, this is these are all timepieces. Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Relax. There's a mix of Black Sabbath. Scorpions, Love It for Sting. Eliminator. The original one, man. I was, what, I was probably... 15, that came out. Michael Jackson. <laughs> Dangerous. Sinead O'Connor. Nothing compares to you, man. Let's check this top section out real quick and see what's in the goodie bag up here real quick. Journey Escape. Go through a few of these. David Lee Roth, Crazy from the Heat. Bill Cosby, Fat Albert. GNR. That's the original one right there, man. David Lee Roth, we did that one already. What else is in here? What else we got? Got some Def Leppard. High and Dry. Couple mixtapes. That's the Ozzy Osbourne tribute right there. Randy Rhodes. Aerosmith Pump. Guess I'm proving my street cred in this video. I'm showing all the stuff I learned from. Ario Speedwagon, High Infidelity. I listened to it all. I did not discriminate. If I thought it was good, whether it was Madonna or Rod Stewart, Dangerous Toys, Van Halen, I listened to it. All right, man, my jeans are getting dirty. These boxes are dusty. Okay, there's probably going to be some garbage in here. Twisted Sister, Love is for Suckers. We'll just go through these kind of quick. Mixtape, speaking of Dangerous Toys, there's Dangerous Toys. Foreigner, uh, Double Fan, or Double Vision. What is this? 
the story of Star Wars. That's Star Wars on a cassette. <laughs> the Black Rose. Shake Your Money Maker. Back in these days, we had jam tracks on cassette. There's the jam, the guys in the jam. So you could jam out on cassette. Shotgun Messiah. Anybody remember those guys? Fraley's Comet. Rock Soldiers. Bullet Boys. Smooth Up In Ya. Lord Tracy. <laughs> Helix. I loved Helix. Back for another taste. Here's a local band up near somewhere in the Northeast called Dubeal. Mary Dubeal. Mary Dubeal signed it for me. She said, To Marty, love Mary. I was starstruck. Great White. Twice Shy. There's more local radio stations. There's Check this out. Izzy Stradlin the Ju and the Juju Hounds. Shuffle It All, I think, was the song on there. The Jerky Boys. Oh, I remember those guys. I had so many copies of Van Halen 1984 because I would wear it out. Here's uh, Diver Down. Abbey Road, I'd wear that out. I've got like four copies of that. Black Crow is hard to handle. Single. The Police. Greatest Hits. There's a Robert Plant mix. Loved Robert Plant. No Rest for the Wicked by Helix. I love that album. Lionel Richie, Can't Slow Down. I don't know why I've got Celine Dion falling into you. I don't think that was my cassette. I think that was a girlfriend's. White Snake, Slip of the Tongue. Tell No Tales, TNT. Tell No Tales. That's uh, Knights of the New Thunder. Before that came out, actually. Um, here we go, Ingve Trilogy. All right, so there we go with with that box. We're getting to the, towards the end. We got one final grubby box here. Let's see what's in this. Wow, this is kind of unique. Here are a bunch of my old baseball cards uh, and WWE cards. There's like baseball cards from the 70s in here. Steve Renko. I don't know why I still have these baseball cards in this cigar box. Let's, let me pull out one random WWE card. There's Deborah. Remember Stone Cold Steve Austin's wife, Deborah? That was her card. I forgot I had these. Why do I keep this junk? We've segued into WWE, everybody. Lita. I guess I must have bought the Divas pack or something. Terry Reynolds. Somewhere in here, I do believe I've got a Stacy Keebler card, and it's got like a piece of her dress. I used to cut up like pieces of her clothes and stick them on the cards. There's not very many cassettes in here. I thought there were more. Here's a demagnetizer. You had to have the head cleaner demagnetizer that never seemed to work. David Lee Roth, Your Filthy Little Mouth. There's another copy of Van Halen 1, because I'd wear it out. 5150. Boston Don't Look Back. I don't know. Some weird mixtape. That is U2 Live Under a Blood Red Sky. Guess I had another copy of that. Surfing USA, a bunch of surf music. Jan and Dean. Crystals, the Hondells. I thought surf music was cool. Still do. Sorry if the camera angle's not good. Rush, Permanent Waves, and Kiss Destroyer. All right, well there, that's all my cassettes. This was fun. I got to go down memory lane and kind of relive my musical tastes when I was a teen in my early tw and in my early 20s. Gosh, I bought a lot of music. I bought a lot of stuff. Nowadays, everything is just free on Apple Music and Spotify and YouTube. But you had to listen, buy all these cassettes and listen to them cover to cover. 
So yeah, I enjoyed doing this. It was it was really enjoyable to to listen or to to look at all this stuff. I still have a ca dual cassette deck. I don't listen to cassettes, but I still have a decent stereo system. I'm gonna go through that Van Halen Syracuse bootleg. I should convert that over to digital and upload that. It should be fun to listen to. So hope you like the content. If you do, please comment below. Consider subscribing. And uh, until next time, peace out.